You are about to see a very boring video. It is to teach you how dangerous blood transfusions can be. It will show you 1. How to ask someone their name. 2. Read a wristband. 3. Write on a tube of blood. 4. Stick a label on a unit of blood. 5. Collect a unit from the blood fridge. 6. Sign a form. And 7. Connect a transfusion to the right patient. If you're sure you already know all this, you can go to sleep now. There's a love. So, sorry, excuse me. Uh, could you tell me where Hope Ward is, please? Hope Ward? Yeah, that's no problem. You want to go through reception to the swing doors at the end, turn right onto the main corridor, go past radiology, haematology, histology and endocrinology, turn left up the ramp to the main lifts, go to the fifth floor, turn right, Go past ITU, CCU and HDU. Keep going till you come to the painting of Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Turn right. Hope is the third on the left. It's just before Charity and right after Faith. It's on your left, right? You can't miss it. And if you do, just ask for mercy. It's right opposite. Good morning, you winner, you. Morning, Ollie. That's Mr. Oaksmith to you. Ow! Does that sound right to you? What? Ow! That. Does that sound right? Sounds fine to me. Ow! Darling, I cannot tell you how absolutely bloody it is in here. They won't let me use my mobile, there is nowhere to charge my laptop, and the staff are harder to find than a table at the Ivy. Well, it is the National Health, darling. But if my personal banker hadn't messed up the standing order for my booper subs, I would be sitting pretty in a private suite at the Welbeck Clinic. As it is, I am stuck in here with the... You know, ordinary people. Can I just check your name? Alison Ainsley, is it? Yes, that's right. God, I know this operation is going to go horribly wrong. Because they can't even get the simplest things right. I asked for some water. Con gas. When it finally arrived, it was in a plastic jug, if you please. No ice, no lemon, and flat as a pancake. God knows what they'll get up to whilst I'm unconscious. Yeah. OK, I'll call you later. Ciao. Don't worry. I'm sure it'll be all right. I beg your pardon? I couldn't help overhearing, but I'm sure there's nothing for you to worry about. Oh, good. So reassuring. I felt much better already. Yes, I've been here loads of times. What a fine testament to our surgeon's skill. I know. So there's nothing for you to worry about, is there? So what's your name, by the way? Penny. I'm Alison. Ugh. Hello. Are you Alison? Yes. I just need to take a couple of blood samples from you. Would you mind rolling up your sleeve, please? Suppose so. It's just a little prick. <laughs> what was that? What? Ow. That. Oh, that. That's just one of your patients having their blood taken. Huh? Thank God for that. I thought someone was stealing my car. Right, Jonathan, whom do we have here? Oh, uh, well, if you'll just bear with me a moment, sir. Take your time, Jonathan, take your time. More haste, less speed, that's my motto. Yes, sir, thank you. Uh, there are just uh, two for you in here. 
Uh, the first is Miss... Uh, Alison. Did you finish that somewhere else? I want to see my patient. Uh, well, well now... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sure. Oh, Miss Alison, so nice to see you again, dear lady. Are we treating you all right? There's no ice. Uh-huh, excellent. Good, well, can't see anything to worry about there. Well, you might need a little blood after surgery, but that's nothing to be afraid of, is it? So, any questions? Good, excellent, I'll see you later. Right, Jonathan, who's next? Uh, the, the next one is, uh, Mrs. Alison Ailing. Uh, more fibroids, none of my mate. Oh, come on, come on, I haven't got all day. I've got to label my tubes. Well, label them somewhere else, man. Seize the hour, seize the day. That's my motto. Ah, Mrs Ailing, how are you feeling today? Very well, thank you, Doctor. Well, don't you worry, Mrs Ailing. We'll soon take care of that. Now, you might just need a little blood after surgery, oh, but that's... I shan't mind that, Doctor. I've been a donor for years. I'm O negative, you know. Good! <laughs> Pompous git. Oh, Mr Oliver, call me Sir Oaksmith. Consultant surgeon with stupid bloody sunglasses, that's who. Push my trolley. No. Push your trolley? <gasps> Say it isn't so. He, yes, he did. Well, be a pal and get these taken down to the lab for me, will you? Okie dokie. No peace for the wicked. Porters? Yep. Yeah. We'll pick those up as soon as someone's free. All right, then. Some work for you. Anything interesting? Nah, routine pre op counts and cross matching. Pity. Still, you never know, you might come across some really unusual antibodies. <laughs> Mickey? What? You should get out more, mate. You really should. Mickey, blood bank. Yes, yes, I, I, yes, indeed. I, I'm going here right now, exactly. Oh, right you are. Just check in on uh, Alison. What's her name? She bled rather a lot during surgery. But this is Penny Allison. Hmm. That seems okay. How's the other one doing? Uh, this is Alison Ailing. 
Hmm. Uh, I think we'll just top her up. Give her two units of blood, get Jonathan to write it up and uh, check her HP later. That's just the one then, two units. For Mrs. Ailing. Quite. Alison? Penny? Yeah. Penny? Yes. Penny Allison? Yes. Penny Allison, award-winning editor of Superwoman Monthly in person. What do you want? How are you feeling? Absolutely. Bloody! Go away! Porters. Blood for who? Hold on a second. Right, give me that again. Alison. Right, I'm on my way. They're going to give me some blood. Ugh. I think it's nice. Nice? Nice? It's a bloody transfusion, not a gin and tonic. Well, perhaps they'll give me some of my own. I've been a blood donor for 20 years. Perhaps you'll get some of mine too. I very much doubt it. I can't imagine they'll give me just anyone's blood. After all, I should have been a private patient. But my blood is special. You know, it is the only type that's safe for anyone. If I had some of yours, it would probably kill me. I should be so lucky. There we go. Pint of the good stuff. This is reserve vintage, you know. So I'll have your toes tapping again. Oh, thank you very much. So what about me? Well, you don't need any blood. Unless you fancy some tap dancing. Certainly not. Well then. Ghastly little man. I'm O negative, you know. If I had some of yours, it would probably kill me. Probably kill me. Probably kill me. Hello, are you Alison? Come on, come on, I haven't got all day. I've got to label my tubes. Mickey, blood bank. Yes, yes, I, I, 
Yes, indeed. I, I'm going here right now. Exactly. Uh, I think we'll just top her up. Give her two units of blood, get Jonathan to write it up and uh, check her HB later. That's just the one then, two units. For Mrs. Ailing? Quite. Yeah, hello, Penny Alton here. I ordered a cab 40 minutes ago. What do you mean you can't find me? I'm standing outside the hospital, and I can assure you I am the only person in Jaeger. Oh, no, everything's fine. They are wonderful in there. You couldn't be in better hands. Mr. Oaksmith, he is the top man in his field, and the nurses, they are so lovely. Thank you. 